Well, a traditional Thanksgiving meal involves a lot of delicious food, of course, but that doesn't mean you can't bring something new to the table that is just as good. Today, chefs Matt Lewis and Liz Kenyon are showing us how to make a winter citrus salad. We have Valencia oranges here. We have some blood oranges and we also have a navel orange here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean off all of the um, zest off of these and we're going to slice our shallot and then we're going to marinate the shallot in the juices that are kind of left on the zest. And so like this is what we would be putting into um, our marinade for our shallot. Okay. So all I'm doing is just like going around and taking off taking off these these peel. Okay. Um, and then what we're gonna do is then you can eat this entire, you know, center of course. Um, so you're just finding the inside line against the pit. Totally. I guess you would call mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and we're gonna save all this for our um, shallots. And I'm just gonna do this to all of these, all this citrus here. We'll do the shallot really quick. I'm just gonna take off the butt end here. Okay. And the top, and I'm gonna cut it in half, like so. Clean it up, and then we'll julienne this. I am gonna take off the root end here, and we'll throw that in there. Um, and then I'm just gonna do a quick uh, julienne on this. It's uh, about a quarter of an inch, no, an eighth of an inch, um, and I'm just gonna move it along like the half moon wise here. Okay. Um, but we want it super thin so the marinade will go through it really easily. So just take your time, long yep, just ways. Take your time. We want them. We want them pretty paper thin. Um, you know, you don't have to be. You can use a mandolin for this too, if um, you're not comfortable with it or or whatever that looks like. So um, use the the juice that's left in the leftover rice. Totally. Okay. Yep. Yep. And so I'm just gonna kind of take whatever pieces I I see that there's like quite a bit. It's always like usually the tops are a really good um, choice, but I mean all of it you're gonna get you know, probably you're going to need like a tablespoon or a teaspoon of uh, citrus juice. Got it. So they don't need to be submerged in no, citrus not at all. juice. No, we just want it to be kind of like a, like toss dressing kind of. Yep. So this is plenty. That was quite a bit. Um, <laughs> and what I'm going to do is we're going to put this to the side. Okay. That's for my potpourri for later. This is for your, um, yeah, this is for your other class. Um, <laughs> and what I'm going to do here is just dump this all in here. Okay. And this is getting into like a nice marinated. It's all co it's all covered really well. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, mm. about a quarter of a teaspoon. What we'll do here is zest. We're going to use a big bowl because this is what everything is going to go into. Ah, um, okay. And we'll just mix it all together. This I'm just gonna let go to the side. Um, so I'm gonna zest probably half of this. Okay. I'm gonna cut not down the center because I don't know how many like seeds or anything are in here. Okay. I'm gonna go off the side just a little bit. Ah, okay. Um, and so this will help. So like you can see like it's pretty hollow. Might be a little bit early in the time of year, but um, so then we're gonna kick out these seeds. Got it. And we're just gonna hit this with a little splash here. Ooh. And then we're gonna finish it off in here. So we probably have about a tablespoon of juice, teaspoon of zest. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. Um, and this will just be our dressing. So a tablespoon of juice, mm -hmm. teaspoon of zest, mm -hmm. and we, it was a juice of oil. How much was that? A tablespoon. A tablespoon of oil. So this is great. We're gonna add a little bit of salt to this. Okay. Um, half teaspoon to start. Season as we go. Um, yep, season as we go. And this is like a really awesome like orange color. This is all um, this is all lemon. It looks like it's orange, but it's not. Oh yeah, look at that color. <laughs> Super good, yeah. All right. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice our oranges. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep them all um, into circles. Uh, you can take out, take out the segments and, and do that, but I'm gonna keep them all circular. You do it, Chef. Yeah. You do it. It'll be great. So anyway, all of our all of our citrus is in the bowl. We're just gonna give it a nice, nice swirl. Okay. Um, I'm gonna season it a little bit more. Um, and then after this last like what that's a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Um, we'll start using flake salt. 
And then what we have is we have some Belgium endive. Um, I use these as chips, as scoops, as whatever. I think these are like the best things ever. But what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna cut off the bottom here. Um, and we, you know, you see that we're just gonna separate these leaves really nicely. So we have a pile of endive and then we're going to take our treviso. We're not going to use this entire head. What we're going to do is you can leaf it out and you can leave the leaves a little bit bigger if you'd like. Um, it's kind of, again, choose your own adventure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, we're just going to go straight down and then again, we're just going to separate our leaves. Um, these leaves are great. They're beautiful. We're going to toss the salad. Let's toss the salad, oh, chef. Let's cut the top. Let's cut the top. Come so these guys look pretty good. I'm gonna set all these off to the side here in a bowl. They gotta be mixed together. Um, those look okay. They still. Mm. I like it. <laughs> yeah, these look okay. There's a little bit of caramel left on them. They're sweet. Your timing was perfect salty. on those. Awesome. There is no Take bitterness that. at all. Cool. Nice crunch on the sugar. Great. Um, we're just gonna give these a super rough chop. Okay. Um, we want the pieces to be pretty big. Um, so, I mean, we're cutting them in maybe thirds, halves. Tips on plating, you know, you can pick and choose. You don't just have to like grab it all out and throw it on a plate. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna grab a pinch of the shallots, probably about half, and I'm just gonna add them to the citrus. I'm not sure if I'm gonna want more, Okay. You know, we'll kind of find out, but... That's your prerogative. Yeah, totally. I'm just going to build a salad that I want to build. There we know? go. The salad's super, super simple. So I'm going to kind of like pick out some pieces that are a little bit bigger. I want to make sure everything's coated really well. And we're just going to start kind of building this. And then what about the pecans? We put those on now or we're going to we put them on now. Okay. Use as many as you want. Again, like this is, this is enough for two salads. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our pecorino cheese and a peeler. You can use a Y peeler. You just pull towards you. Make sure that your fingers are out of the way. Pull this like carefully towards you. And we're making some really nice ribbons. That and that's amazing. This is it. That's it? This is it. This is super simple, um, super basic. I wish that I could fast forward like that when I cook. You can try Liz's winter citrus salad for yourself. Just head to New Day's website to find the recipe. We'll be right back.